Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we're finishing chapter 10 and we're talking about the subchapter called quantiles or k values. Sounds complicated, but it really isn't. It's actually just the opposite of what we did in the last chapter or la last subchapter. And we're basically still going to be dealing with normal distributions. So let me just draw a normal distribution right here. And while I'm drawing this, I would like to thank one of the commenters on the last video that corrected my mistake. I actually had my frequency and height reversed. So frequency should be on the left side and height should be on the uh, bottom. And this is basically height of students at a school. So we have random students, a random school, and they have random heights. And we are basically distributing them on this, uh, on this graph, normal distribution graph. So mean is going to be right here in the middle. And then we have our standard deviation somewhere over here. This is a one standard deviation. Now, here's here's the thing. In in the last example, in the last video, what we were doing is we were looking for a probability of, uh, you know, getting a certain number of students if you're given certain values. So, for example, that you were given value for a mean, you were given value for standard deviation, and then you had to find a probability or a percentage uh, or a chance of getting a certain part of the graph. So, for example, we would be looking at this part of a graph, and what we discovered in the last video that this was actually 37% or prox oh, sorry, not 37, approximately 34% of the graph. But when we're dealing with something called quantiles or k values, we're essentially doing the opposite. You're given the percentage, you're actually given this probability, and you actually have to find the number. It's the number that you have to find. So for example, uh, well, you're usually given the mean, but you need to find this number here. So let's actually take a look at the example so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. And let's just say that the mean here for these students will be uh, 1.6 meters and the standard deviation will be, let's just say, 0.2 meters. So we have a random distribution of students with heights of one, uh, average height of 1.6 meters and the standard deviation right here is 0.2 meters. Now the question for quantiles or k values would be something like this. Now you're given a value you're given a k value or percentile and it's usually going to be written in this format. So you're usually going to have something like this. It's going to say p brackets. And then let's just say you're looking for, uh, what we want to find out is the top uh, percentage of students here. And we want to find how tall is the top 10 percentile of the students. So what we're looking at here is somewhere over here, there's these super, super tall, super giant students. And we're looking for the top 10 percentile. And you can see this question can be used for many different types of examples. For example, top uh, 10 percentile of a score in, scores in university, uh, top 10 percentiles on SATs, and so on and so forth. So here we're looking just for the height. So these, we're looking for these super tall giants and the top 10 percentile. So we're trying to find out what is this value? So basically, how tall do you have to be to be in that top 10 percentile of students? And so what you're going to write is, we're looking for p of x more than or equal to k. And this was, this equals to, so if it's top 10%, this means that we're looking at 0.9, 0.9k. So here, our k is 0.9, and our x is more than k, or more than equal, more than or equal to k, which is essentially right here. So this is the notation we're going to be using for quantiles or k values. So essentially, once again, so what this means is we have all these values of x we're looking for, and these values of x are more than or equal to k, and our k is 0.9 because it's essentially 100% minus 10%, which will give you 90% or 0.9. And there's actually a way to find this graphically as well, but it's not going to be very precise. And the graphical way of finding this would be by essentially drawing all of your standard deviations here and then trying to find out this top 10%. So essentially, you're going to be graphically looking at these top 10%. But we're not going to be doing this graphically. We're actually going to be using calculator for this because it is a function that does it very, very easily for you. And I'm going to show you this button in one second. And the button you're looking for is the same button, actually. It's the VARS button, so we're going to click on VARS. And then what we're doing here is not two like before, but number three inverse of a normal. So if you click on it, you may see something like this, or you may see just the bracket. If you do have the bracket, you need to enter things in order. So you have to enter area first, mean second, standard deviation third. For, for uh, people that do have this in their calculator, it's a lot easier. Essentially, 
uh, it's asking you for an area first and area is this area up to this point essentially it's asking you for the fraction or for the percentage of everything up to this point it's and here's the thing it always measures things from the left side so it assumes that you're measuring from the left and our area in this case is only basically 0 0.9 it's 0 0.9 so it's, it's actually asking you to enter the k value and the k value here is 0.9 uh, mean in this case is going to be our mean is 1.6 and finally standard deviation is 0.2 and then once you paste this all if you if you just have the bracket you're going to you're going to have to paste it in this way so 0 0.9 comma 1.6 comma 1.2 oh sorry 0 0.2 then if you click on enter ta-da that's the answer 1.85 ish 1.86 really so the answer to this question so what um what uh is the height of the top 10 percentile of students at this particular school well it's approximately 1.86 meters or basically 1 meter 86 centimeters and that is it that's really how you do these uh, um, k values or quantiles so essentially if you if you have a question question if you have a, if you have a question that basically asks you to find the top 10 percentile of students in class or a very common question would be like sat scores or scores in a certain environment or like size of something if you're looking for this percentile or as we call them quantiles you're basically using this button this button right here by pressing uh, second virus and then clicking on three and then entering these values uh, measure making sure that you understand that you're measuring from the left side so for example if if a question is asking you this if the question is asking to find the range of values between the bottom 10 percent and the top 10 percent so it's asking you for the range of values what you have to do is first you have to find the area here which we already found but then you're looking for area right here as well area right here as well and what you're looking for is the difference so essentially you're going to be subtracting these two areas so what you're looking for is this value minus this value so let's actually do this right now so we do have the value for the top 10 percent and that's 1.86 so here the answer is 1.86 so let's find the bottom 10 and to find the bottom 10 we're looking for one uh, this has, has to be one and the answer is going to be 1.34 so 1.34 is the bottom 10 so essentially what if i rewrite this it has to be less than or equal to k and k here is 0.1 and the answer is 1.34 now how do we find the range between these two or basically what is the range of height between the top 10 and bottom 10 a percentile of students well it's basically the difference right we're just all we do is we subtract these two values so 186 minus 134 and the range here is what is it 52 centimeters i think 0.52 meters uh and really that's it that's how you find things when um when you do have to find a range of certain values so you're looking for area always from the left side and then you're subtracting from the other area that you also found from the left side and so that's really it that's quantiles or k values and that's really it for chapter 10 i think we're going to pause this here and i think in the last video i'm going to quickly talk about z scores or z scores as they're sometimes called in canada uh, and this is something that you'll be using in university more so than in high school but it's it's an important concept and it's def definitely um, very useful if you're planning to do graduate school uh, so this is the last topic that we'll do but it's going to be optional so it's not a required topic on um, on your test either so other than that thank you for watching please subscribe and good luck to you bye bye